Tristans. Yo, what's good, Tristans? And Tristram. Today, we're going to be reacting to... Uh, how many times are we going to react to this song? We're reacting to Olivia Rodrigo, Driver's License. I don't know if you've ever heard of this song, but today it's being performed on the Grammys. So I'm super excited to check it out because the Grammys performances are always a step above. The only thing I saw from the Grammys that has to do with Olivia Rodrigo was I saw that clip of V from BTS like flirting with her, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I also just reacted to Billie Eilish's Happier Than Ever. I'm also gonna react to Silk Sonic, Justin Bieber probably. We'll see. You guys let me know down below what I should check out. But before we get started, be sure to check me out. Instagram. <sighs> I ain't got the energy today, you guys. Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. On my Patreon, by the way, I am reacting to the entirety of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Episode 8 should be up around the time this video is up. So check that out if you're interested. Let's just jump into this. Huh. I've had a long day, you guys. Let me tell you what. Our next performer at only 19 is nominated for seven Grammys, including record and song. She won two of them, right? The and best new artist. When I was 19, the only thing I was nominated for was least likely to get his acne under control. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grammy stage, Olivia okay. Rodrigo. Yay! Wait, hold on a minute. I feel like this card doesn't look very functional at all. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, she got some boots on today. Got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Interesting. Cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house, but today I drove through interesting. the suburbs, crying cause you were you know why this is interesting to me? Because I just reacted to her documentary, right? I don't know if those videos are going to be up now or they're going to be up after this one. But I just reacted to her documentary. And in that documentary, I was noticing in a lot of her songs, her voice was actually getting darker and louder. This performance seems to be going in the opposite direction. I almost feel like she's singing lighter than she sang in the studio track, like brighter as well. Like her voice sounds much younger, more poppy in a sense. So it's interesting to hear her go take this song in this direction in uh, this performance. We'll talk more about that as this goes on. If I keep picking up on it. And you're probably with that one girl who always made me doubt. How tall is she? She looks kind of short. Much shorter than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. Yet today I drove through the suburbs. Cause how could I ever love someone else? She's singing so beautifully though. She's definitely singing lighter. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay Now that I'm gone I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me You said forever, now I drive alone past your street I want to see her live. I'm mad because the tickets sold out literally in two minutes. God damn it, dude. This is absolute nonsense. But she's singing this so different from any of the other driver's license performances that I've heard. Talked about because you were so excited for me. But she's actually singing pretty light and bright in the studio track here as well. So maybe, you know, her voice has changed so much since she put out that track that I'm used to hearing her sing in such a completely different way. I wonder how she's going to approach the bridge because she always sings the bridge a little bit different. Higher. I miss you, but I kind of feel sorry for them Cause they'll never know you the way that I do Yeah, today I drove through the suburbs And pictured I was driving home to you This is one of her best performances of this so far And I know we weren't perfect But I've never felt this way for no one And I just can't You wrote in that song about me 
she's gotten so much more comfortable on stage as well. Like I've probably seen every single one of her live performances. And this is one of the most comfortable I've seen her on stage. And it's probably her biggest performance to date, unless I'm mistaken. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. All right, let's go. Let's see what she does here. It's just the most stable I've ever heard her sing that line. I do think she transposed this down a few steps, so that maybe plays into it, but the tone that she's getting with her voice is just so pretty. I still see your face in the white cars, front yards, can't drive past the places we used to go to, cause you know I'll talk about why I like that so much when she finishes this. Forever now I drive alone past your street. Yeah, you said forever now. Oh, I just got lost for a second. Past your street. Oh, it's just so interesting. Overall, I've been hearing her voice getting fuller and louder. It's so interesting to hear her come back to this, just to, to go full 180 to kind of see where she came from with her voice. I wonder if you're around cause you know that I do it all again. Right, so for example here, in this favorite crime performance, which I f love by the way, I'm exaggerating the differences, but she's going like, you know, I do it all again. She has this like, eh, sound to her voice, so that makes sense, where it's kind of this like dark, eh, fuller sound. But then we come to the beginning of the driver's license performance, and that's just one example, by the way. And we get... I got my driver's license. I got my driver's license last week. She has this, uh, oh, sound to her voice, right? It's quieter and has way more of this sort of like a younger sound to it, if that makes sense. What I really love the most and where I thought she was the most secure in the entire song, well, two things. Number one, a lot of times I've seen her performing this song live and her emotions kind of get to her a little bit and it affects her voice in the performance. It's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Sometimes you like that in a performance, but she did a very good job keeping that from affecting her. And that happens the more you perform something and also the more you get over whatever the situation is about. One can only speculate. I thought she did a very good job of that. But my favorite part was the bridge. I love how she has these very distinct portions of the song. Light stop signs. Where she has this uh portion, like sort of this held sound that she does all the time and she does so beautifully and it's been getting better and better. Held section that's kind of loud and then a breathy section and she's jumping back and forth between them so easily in a way that sounds seamless. And if you don't believe that that's difficult, you can try it yourself. It's not easy to do that in a way that sounds seamless. And I don't remember her doing that as easily in previous performances. Let's see. Right, so here she went, red lights, stop signs, right? Maybe that's intentional, by the way, but I just love this artistic choice of her jumping back and forth between the red lights, <laughs> right? I think it's so pretty. I think she does it like the entire bridge almost. Your face in the white cars, front yards, can't Except here, she goes, duh, 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 duh. Right? She does the airy thing at the bottom, but it's still uh, a little bit shouty almost. It's just so crafted.
And I think that goes along with her ditching a lot of the nerves that she's had in the past and also ditching a lot of the uh, emotions that you get on stage. She's able to execute it the way she wants it to be executed, if that makes sense. Because a lot of you guys know, if you've ever done a live performance, you practice something one way, but then when you're on stage, the adrenaline takes over and something else ends up happening. And sometimes that's a good thing, but a lot of times it's unfortunate because the thing that you practice is not the thing that you end up putting on the stage. And most people won't notice the exact differences, but these are the differences that I noticed being someone that's seen all of her live performances. And also as someone who didn't get a ticket to see her on tour, by the way, just throwing that out there. Sorry. <laughs> Olivia's management, please. I've done s okay, not, not, I'm not gonna beg. You don't want me to come? You don't want me to- Fine, I'm not coming. <laughs> Right? I still hear your voice in the if the pattern is the same, she's gonna go da 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 because the previous two were the breathy ones. Yep. She, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta end this video. I'm going on for too long. But she's also a master of these sounds that I work with with students all the time. This is the most difficult part of singing, at least in my opinion, is getting these vowels up where she's singing them to sound the way that she gets them to sound. This is the thing that makes singing different from speech, right? Because she gets this L A sound to her voice. It's like, eh, right? Where it sounds very held and nobody talks this way. I don't go around talking like this to people. Maybe there's one or two people in the world who talk that way, but I've never met them. So that's what's difficult about singing is doing that, especially with your mouth open the way that she opens her mouth because you can't sing with your mouth, com mouth completely closed all the time. It ends up sounding too tense and strained. It's okay to do it here and there, but it's just, that is wonderful. If people learn how to do this, I promise so many things about singing get way easier if you can sing from this place because then you can be loud. You can go, hey! But you have this like, uh, behind the sound, right? And that helps keep things a little bit more controlled as opposed to, hey, where it just kind of escapes you and you can't really hold on to it and it gets shouty or, hey, where it's so weak and there's nothing there. It's just the, the best I've heard her sing this bridge, the whole thing. She's just so, so relaxed. I know we weren't perfect. And the emotion only hits her at the very end. Wait for it. And I just can't Not yet. imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Guess you didn't mean now, that you were that's when the actual emotions of the song hit her. Perfect time for them to hit, because this is the vulnerable part of the song. And that's all about me. You can also see it in her eyes at the end. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Just, you can see it at the end. That's so good. I think she just did such a good job in this performance of keeping it emotional, keeping it expressive, not letting the emotions get in the way, not letting the nerves get in the way, and just singing the song the way that she had crafted the song to be sung and executing it beginning to end. That is wonderful. There's some little mistakes here and there where like, I mean, every singer live does a mistake, so I, it's not really worth fixating on too much, but some mistakes here and there, but that's just the way it goes. Overall, I'm very impressed by this. I'm also very impressed by all the different tones that she's getting out of her voice. I don't have time to go into that today. I have tons of Olivia Rodrigo videos. You can watch them. Just search my channel, okay? But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, be sure to check me out. Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. I don't know what the fuck that was. Again, on my Patreon, reacting to High School Musical, the musical, the series. Episode eight, a season one should be out around the time this video is out. So hopefully you enjoyed my reaction. And, oh, and also on my Patreon, I'm now doing a uh, voice technique series. We're just getting started. But if you're interested in that, again, also on my Patreon, if you find these videos helpful and you're actually trying to learn how to sing and stuff, I'm going to go into way more detail over there so that the stuff that I talk about in my videos is a bit more clear. So check that out as well if you're interested. Till next time, Tristan's Interest Fam. Peace.